Actually, in New Orleans, it's not too bad. We've kind of been checking around with cloudy skies, some passing small showers and sprinkles, but we do have the two storms that we're watching. Laura, which has strengthened a little bit, as Chris showed you earlier in the newscast, and Marco, which has weakened a little bit, back to a tropical storm. So here is tropical storm Marco, and we've been kind of pointing out that it did look like it was weakening this evening, and indeed it did, and it now has winds of 70 miles per hour. Earlier this afternoon, it started taking this more westward, west westward path as the models kind of kept the center even off the coast and some of them are still showing that maybe even without a landfall at all. But in any case, it will be getting very close to our coast, likely as a strong tropical storm during the daytime hours tomorrow. And we will see effects farther inland too, although the great thing is this is a small storm. So even those hurricane force winds were confined really close to the center. So now that those winds have weakened a bit as of right now and tonight, we're going to see the wind threat probably a little bit less and more confined right along the coastline as compared to what we would have seen, of course, if it were a stronger storm. Here is the shear that we've talked about. This movement that you can see here, dry air is especially off to the west, and you can see the oranges with water vapor imagery in the mid-levels of the atmosphere. This loop goes back six hours, and you can see how it's kind of cut off this whole side of Marco almost. As for tropical storm Laura, this may be the next one, of course, that we're going to be talking about more so Tuesday and into Wednesday. The big thing with that is that you saw that the thunderstorms and cloud cover was really removed from the center and it's been looking very lopsided like that all day long. So we will see if it takes a more southern kind of track maybe lining up even with some low pressure possibly uh, south of where that initial low pressure center is right now. If it does take this more southern track, it may have a chance to be a little bit farther south as it enters the Gulf. Now, Chris pointed out that the National Hurricane Center shifted the path a bit to the east. It still has it as a strong, possibly category two, maybe even borderline category three storm at this point. But really the thinking from the National Hurricane Center, as they mentioned, in their discussion is it's really depends on that high that we've been talking about this high that's been driving Laura out to the west and really it's just going to kind of track around that high pressure as it spreads off into the eastern Gulf of Mexico so it will depend on that but again there wasn't a really big shift in models or anything like that but the track did inch a little bit closer uh, to the kind of left hand or right hand side to the east so impacts for tomorrow we are still expecting some rain for some of us. It may just be some quick downpours here and there, some quick passing showers. If you're along the coast, it might be a little bit higher perhaps. Wind gusts will not be as bad, so that's a really good thing. That means there could still be a few gusts of 40 plus miles per hour, but it does look like the chance for a lot of those uh, more widespread sort of power outage situations will be a bit lower. That's great. Storm surge, that has been unchanged, and there is still the potential for a few spin up tornadoes. In fact, we're at a slight risk of severe weather for much of our North Shore and South Shore spots tomorrow. That level two out of five, we get that from time to time, and that would be for some brief tornadoes just kind of spinning, spinning up quickly and then falling apart, as is common with tropical systems. So far, the storm surge official forecast has not changed three to five feet along the coastline here, four to six on those southward facing shorelines along southeast Louisiana, two to four for the lakes and over to the west. Tomorrow, high tides, by the way, are 4 p.m. Grand Isle and in the morning for Slidell and for Lake Bourne. Radar is so quiet. It's kind of interesting. We do have a little bit of shower activity. Some of you may have just in the Kenner area or off in parts of St. Charles Parish gotten just a little bit of shower activity very recently. We are expecting it to stay somewhat quiet for maybe the next few hours, but we are anticipating more of those tropical passing showers to move in tomorrow. So 1 a.m. to 7 a.m. Tuesday, we're still officially under that flash flood watch. And just a quick look at how much rain we might get if the euro uh, pans out. This is not to be taken uh, quite literally, but notice that by Tuesday afternoon, we may have picked up anywhere from maybe one to three or four inches. But Laura coming after may spread heavier rains over us. So this is our forecast all the way through early Friday morning. So this is a long way out. This continues for the whole week, but you can see why we're talking about the three to six or so inches. And as for the wind speed forecast, this is tomorrow morning. The white numbers, sustained winds, the yellow numbers would be potential 
uh, wind gusts and you can see it's definitely not looking too bad is it? our winds may be up to 20 25 miles per hour south of the lake um, really on the higher end it looks like and gusts as you can see maybe 30 to 40 possibly a bit higher than that but again it doesn't look too bad for tomorrow Tuesday the winds ease so we will see whether that lets some of that storm surge go down at least a little bit and then Wednesday this would be potentially with Laura it turns breezy once again and this would be by Wednesday night this is the euro model that I was showing tonight we'll see a 30 40 percent chance for some of those passing showers winds will likely be increasing at least a bit by tomorrow morning tomorrow high temperatures only in the 80s pretty nice and a few downpours and showers passing through note that it will be an event kind of through the day where we get these quick moving passing showers and maybe a few areas with some heavy rain we'll see if some of those really heavy rain bands do make it over our area if you're making your plans for tomorrow, here's a quick outlook. This is midnight tonight, few showers tomorrow morning, potentially 7 a.m. Some rain, but not extremely uh, widespread with showers and storms just everywhere or anything like that. This could be 1 p.m. So a couple of models going a little bit drier, although I would plan for at least some showers and a few downpours tomorrow, 5 p.m. And then we'll fast forward into Tuesday. This is early Tuesday morning, some rain still in the area. And then Tuesday, uh, 7 a.m and on toward the afternoon, another day we will, where we might actually be getting even more rain as we turn our attention by that point to Laura. So still some uncertainty in uh, both forecasts actually, but Marco thankfully is weakened a bit, is now a tropical storm, and we are anticipating the impacts from that tomorrow. As for Laura, we're going to be watching that one closely and seeing where that turn might happen and also looking at how fast it could intensify potentially in the Gulf of Mexico. So that would be a Wednesday into Thursday time frame for us.